first type of map fault would be just a generic or your regular map fault. You're coming in on a service call and the system says you have a map fault. You pull your laptop out, you upload the loop and you see nothing. So what do you do at that point? Most people will just download back into the loop controller and just say that the map fault is clear, then wait for the map to map. And it'll probably clear at that point, but that is not what you want to do. What you want to do is once you upload the loop, you want to commit the expected that whole tree. So once you commit that whole tree, each icon would turn blue to let you know that you had made some changes. So once you do that, you go and compile, you compile all of your loop controller databases, or you just compile that one you're working on, depending on how many map faults you have. If you have one, you just worry about the one loop card. You compile that information and then you download back to that loop controller. Cause what you're telling the system is that the software has a good map. Here's the good map. Now I need you to redesign this map so that way we can clear this map fault. Then once you download to that, you want to make sure you diagnose your status. Don't run out the door at that point. Go to your status and diagnostics, connect to the loop card and wait for the system to actually map all the way in and wait for the map to complete. Once the map is complete, you have one more step. You need to upload that complete map. So that way everything in the software and everything that's in the field is the same.